Okay, right, so I'm troubleshooting this NVR. The problem is it was installed in a location where they were using the VGA. VGA was no longer displaying. For example, now this is in my networks lab, so I'm just brought it here to test. I've now connected it, the unit is powered on, I've now connected it to a monitor and there's nothing. There's just no output here. But what I then did is then I connected it to a, I used the alternative uh, connection there. There is a HDMI option and then I connect it and then this is what happens. So, you can see the HDMI works, but the analog does not work. So here we can see there's a problem. Now, what I suspect is that the cable they were using was very long, and it probably uh, destroyed the output amplifier on the VGA signal. So, this is how I am solving the problem. Uh, the unit is out of warranty. I'm not really about to change the uh, VGA amplifier. It's probably burned. It's, on, it's an on-chip uh, system on board system so it's not really feasible for me to do anything here so I have found this VGA uh, HDMI to VGA converter and I'm just going to try and test and see if this will solve the problem now this was the uh, HDMI so I'm just going to unplug it and now I'm going to plug it back into the VGA and let's see how we do Okay, so we can see that the uh, adapter does work and it does come with uh, two ports here. The one is audio because HDMI does carry audio, but the other port here is actually a charging port. And because this is going to be a really long cable run, it allows you to provide, give a bit of juice here to the uh, adapter or well, that's what uh, CE link claim they said if the source is not powerful enough you may connect this to a power source so you what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to plug it straight into the USB of the NVR and test it and see if it will allow it to run a, a 10 meter VGA cable I don't know what the output power of this uh, USB is if it's not suitable I will then connect this straight to a 5 volt jack. Okay, so that is how I've solved this problem. I'm just giving you a workaround if your VGA isn't working and your client is only on VGA and they do not have HDMI, you can use a HDMI to VGA converter and it works quite well. And you can see the resolution is also 1080p. Thank right, so uh, excuse the bumpy video but i'm just showing you it's now installed at on site there's the adapter and you can see the uh, external monitor is pretty far away and that's why i said uh, it's it's a 10 meter run and the cable is going in the ceiling and there is the monitor connected via the hd uh, the uh, vga and it is working right i just thought i would show you the hdmi adapter that i used it's made by ce link that's the company who made it the uh, model number the product is called hdmi a type to vga adapter and this is what it looks like mine is black but same uh, specification there is that uh, usb uh, port and there is the audio and just so you can have a look at the specifications it is 1080p and uh, this is where I got the information about uh, how to set it up. And uh, the text over here explains about the charging. If there's not enough uh, um, power to feed it, it says that if the HDMI source can't supply enough power, you can connect your power adapter to a computer to the micro USB female for charging. So it's not very clear exactly what they mean but i just assume that if you want to if your if your uh, output needs higher power you can actually just use the usb so that's it and thanks for watching cheers